And in this section, we're just going to practice um, adding and subtracting fractions that have a common denominator. And by common denominator, you'll notice I mean the denominator, the bottom is the same. So when the denominator is the same, uh, these are kind of in the same units. Like this is in thirds and this is in thirds. So we can add if they're in thirds. So if I have two thirds and I add five thirds, notice I'm, I'm still in thirds. I'm, I'm don't do any computation with the denominator. That's kind of, that's, it's called the denominator, like the denomination. Um, you know, like we talk about the size of a bill as the denomination, kind of what it's worth. How it's grouped is another way to use the word denomination. So if I have two thirds plus five thirds, that's the same as uh, two plus five thirds, right? Two of them plus five of them is eight of them. And you can leave it in this improper form. As a matter of fact, this is preferred form. Uh, I know it's different than most of your elementary school and maybe middle school experience. But uh, this is how we perform. It's just easier to compute with. Uh, over here, I have x ninths plus 7 ninths. Now, this is the same, these ninths. So that's the same as x plus 7 ninths. Uh, and I don't, I, I don't know what x is. I can't combine it with a 7. So that's my answer right there. Um, notice these ones, I'm going to change that because I want those to be the same actually. Uh, common denominator, it, the fraction, the denomination is 4y plus 3. I could say 4y plus thirds. <laughs> That's my fraction. But anyways, I have 3y of them minus 7 of them. So I could say 3y minus 7. I, don't, I can't combine those over 4y plus 3. And I can't cancel anything. There's my answer. When the denominator is the same, it's pretty straightforward. All right, so take a look at this next one. Uh, 7x plus 12 over x plus 3. x squared over x plus 3. Same denominator, x plus 3. And so I have um, 7x plus 12 plus x squared over x plus 3. And you could leave your answer like this if you wanted. Um, really... We should list these in descending orders of the exponent, so I'm uh, of the variable. So I'm going to say x squared plus 7x plus 12, just because that's kind of proper form over x plus 3. And actually, I wouldn't stop here because maybe I can reduce this fraction. How about I factor this top? This is from our last unit. Things that multiply to 12 add to 7, 4, and 3. So this would be x plus 4 times x plus 3 over x plus 3. That divides out to a 1, the x plus 3 and the x plus 3, leaving me x plus 4. So one note is uh, this: these are equivalent except when x is negative 3. There's a little caveat I'm not going to make a big deal about um, in your practice, but x can't be negative 3. What this is saying is, if I go back to my original fraction, um, if I plug anything into here except negative 3, this is the same as just saying that x value plus 4. All right, let's take a look at this next one. Uh, we have common denominator, n minus 10. So I could write this as n squared minus 100 over n minus 10. And then now um, I want to check it and make sure that it's in its lowest form, that it's already uh, reduced. And this top is a difference of squares, so I can factor that to n plus 10 and n minus 10. Uh, this divides out, leaving me n plus 10. Um, in this course, I'm not going to ask you to. In this course, I'm not going to ask you to write uh, this part, but. There is one exception when n is 10, right? I lost that information that I was dividing by n minus 10 when I did that canceling. All right. Let's take a peek at one more. Uh, minus. So there's subtraction going on here. Notice common denominator. So I'm good as far as that concerned is. that's concerned. Now this minus, I'm subtracting that whole polynomial. So here's what I would write. Uh, the first one. Minus. And put it in parentheses. Maybe you, you just might go ahead and distribute it right away without doing this part, but I'm going to write it out for form. Whew. Okay, so I wrote it this way, so I remember to distribute that negative into there. Boop, boop, boop. 
So I'm subtracting each of the pieces. So 5x squared minus 4x, let's see, 5x squared minus 4x squared is x squared. Negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8. 3 minus 5 is a negative 2. And that's over x squared minus 3x minus 18. And I'm not going to be able to factor that top, so this is my this is my answer. All right, uh, take a look at the practice for this. Uh, note uh, in this book we're in this unit we're using the elementary algebra book, so uh, make sure that you're looking at the right text and uh, message me with any questions you have.